Justin Gaethje. You know, I said this week that I didn't think this guy was going to stick around if there was not a path to the undisputed title. He's obsessed with that, and this puts him in a position to get that second crack. Unbelievable result for Team Gage. I think he's better than ever. I really yeah. do. I thought that in the Fazeev fight, because Fazeev is so talented. He's such an elite striker, and Justin beat him up. He beat him up striking. I mean, he's just a better fighter now. He's That approach that he started to take after the first Poirier fight changed everything because he always had the power. He always had that reckless abandon, that warrior spirit. But now he tempered it with technique and intelligence and just a much better game plan, sticking to the game plan, listening to Trevor Whip and listening to his coaches. Whoo, my I, goodness. I, Joe, I think it was very evident in when he got hurt in the first round. Normally, he would throw caution to the wind, and that's how he got finished. That time, he threw a big punch, reset, took his time, got to the end of the round, and came back. It was like you could see it in the way that he's fighting and the way he's approaching the big moments. And then in the second round, he lands that head kick. It's just showing that he's so much smarter in his approach, and he does deserve a title fight. And now, when you get to the title fight conversation, John, I have a point that tells me he'll be better prepared his second time around. All right, so Charles Oliveira has wins over Dustin Poirier and Justin Gaethje. Islam Akashev does not, but he's the one with the belt. He'll defend it in Abu Dhabi. And then there's Gaethje. DC, go ahead. I feel that if Islam is able to retain, Gaethje being in there with Habib will help him because he was able to take that first round off of him with the kicks, with doing things the right way. He now has experience fighting those guys with that style, that wrestle-heavy style, and looking for submissions. He was able to take, Khabib never lost rounds, Justin beat him. And it was all three scored for Justin Gaethje in round one. And that was Justin Gaethje that is, was better, but not even as good as he is today. He is a real challenge for either of those guys, because even when he hit out, he fought Oliveira, if Oliveira wins, it looked like he was gonna get him out of there in the first round. Right. This dude's real and he's very dangerous. It's just incredible, this lightweight division, and you can argue for Ilya Topuri at 45. This is a good result for him. Maybe Volk defends that title at featherweight, but tremendous embarrassment of riches at 55 for the UFC and a huge result for Justin Gaethje <laughs> what a, tonight. What an insane division.